This thing was a local landmark. I can't believe it's gone. It smells amazing, but I can't believe it's gone. Alrighty lads, it finally happened. For years I've been researching Chinese clone saws. For anybody who doesn't know what a clone saw is, what they are is essentially the chainsaw version of those Chinese Honda clone motors. Okay, the original Honda engines were great, the, you know, the small engines like the seven horsepower ones and whatnot, six and a half or whatever. They're really good engines and what happened is the patents on them eventually ran out and when that happened, the Chinese came in and reverse engineered those small engines. To give credit where credit is due, they did a really good job on them and that's why you can buy a small engine that takes parts that interchange with the real thing for like one quarter or one fifth as much as what you pay for a real deal Honda. Okay, so a clone saw is basically that, except obviously it's a chainsaw. This one is based off a of steel MS-660, I believe it is. And you know, same story, the patents eventually ran out. When that happened, the Chinese came in and they reverse engineered that saw and now they sell them for about a quarter as much. Okay, this thing is a NS892V model. It's a 92cc chainsaw for approximately $500 delivered to my door. It's amazing. Okay, now here's the backstory. Neotech is, and I'm not affiliated with them by the way, I paid full price for this thing. They basically don't know that I exist, I'm just another customer. Okay, Neotech is not the first company to reverse engineer these things. There've they've been a number of different companies making clone saws for probably like a good 10 years at this point. And I've researched them, but here's the deal. A lot of people who own these saws say that they're essentially an ongoing project. The good is that parts, at least on paper, should, and they usually do interchange with any other, in this example, MS-660 parts. Okay, so like if the if the pole starter breaks or you need a carburetor or whatever, you just search the internet for steel MS-660 carburetor or whatever, it should bolt right on. You can get the real deal parts, which some enthusiasts do, or you can get aftermarket parts. Yeah, again, it's just like your seven horsepower Honda clone motor. If you need a pole starter for that, you, you, you pay like $15. I don't even know how that's possible. Okay, you pay like $15 and you get one that just bolts right on, it's ready to go. So it's pretty much that, but in chainsaw form. Okay, there have been other companies that make clone saws, but the people who own them will say they're basically an ongoing project. They get the job done, but it's just, they just always need something. And I researched these for years. I watched videos of them for years and I said, someday there's gonna be a company that's just, you know, one level ahead in terms of quality than some of the other brands out there. Their clone saws are pretty much gonna be turnkey out of the box and when that happens, it's really gonna be something I'm probably gonna be, and I'm probably gonna buy one. Well, that's what happened. Okay, that giant tree came down and uh, the day I discovered it, I went online and I ordered this thing. Like I said, it was about 500 bucks, delivered to my door and it showed up in approximately a week. I think it was actually a little bit less. Now, the tree that you saw has been cut up and uh, it's sitting in saw log form out here. I wanted to film it, but you know, to be honest, it just, it just didn't happen. Okay, that's some low-lying lands. There's standing water down there pretty much year-round. It usually dries out in the summer, but this summer it, it just didn't. Okay, almost got equipment stuck down there. Because the ground is so saturated, I had to winch those fucking saw logs out with it, and I don't have a logging winch, right? I just have an electric winch. Took absolutely forever, because you can only pull for like 60 seconds, and it needs, I think, 15 minutes to cool down. Took absolutely forever. Stupid inefficient, wasn't pretty, but the job got done. And you know what? This saw did a great job of cutting, uh, the, cutting that large tree into saw logs. It did what I bought it to do. It's already fulfilled its purpose and now it's sitting here, I'm really happy with it. Now, obviously this is kind of an initial review. I only have about two tanks of fuel through this thing. Uh, you know, maybe at one point in the future I'll make an updated 
you know, review once it really has some hours on it. But these are just essentially my initial impressions with, with the saw. Okay, I bought it and I really like it. Especially compared to a lot of the other clone saws out there, it has some advantages. Like there's parts on this, for example, this cover here, this is real metal. I think it's like magnesium or something, aluminum perhaps. That's actual metal. It comes with the wraparound handle. That's an upgrade that you have to pay more for on other saws. You know, this, uh, this cover here, again, it's, it's real, some sort of metal, it's not plastic. And this saw basically worked out of the box. Okay, it wasn't perfect, there were some hiccups, but it started on the sixth pull and it pulls like an absolute machine. I love this thing. It tore through these thick logs. It just it just absolutely decimated them. It did an amazing job. Started right up, and uh, and I'm very very happy with it. Now I should preface this by saying I am not a chainsaw guy. Okay, there's people who own like 30 chainsaws in their garage or whatever. Nothing against that, but it's just not for me. This is my usual chainsaw. It is a German-made Dolmar saw which is rebranded as a Makita and sold through them. I really like this saw. Okay, but see, here's the deal. That's, I think that's an 18 inch bar. And it's just not big enough for some things. It's big enough for most things. It's an excellent general purpose saw. I really like it. I should actually do a review just about this at some point. But sometimes, you just need that extra cutting ability. Now, here's the good and the bad and the ugly about this, this Neotech saw. The good is that I bought it and it just worked and I was able to complete what I bought it to do without having to buy anything or having to wait for other parts or, or anything like that. The bad is that there were some hiccups. These spiky deals, I think they're called like saw dogs or whatever, did not actually fit the saw Okay, you got two of them, and they're each held on by two bolts, so that's essentially four bolts for, for the set, you know, front and back. Of those four bolts, of those four holes, one of them wasn't drilled, and two more did not line up. I messaged Neotech's customer service, trying to give them every opportunity to help out, and they were basically useless. They uh, more or less pretended not to know what I was talking about even though I sent pictures and they just sent some generic instructions on how they're supposed to bolt on which is kind of obvious. Okay, the issue is the fucking holes don't line up. So anyway, they, they were basically useless and I had to invest some time with a grinder and a drill but as you can see I did get them on there and, <laughs> and it did work. There are some other slight issues like the fact that I'm not a steel saw expert but I'm pretty sure the caps are supposed to have some way of holding themselves in there, but in this case, they very clearly do not. And that's for both fuel and oil. They just kind of dangle there. I don't think that's supposed to happen. But here's the thing, you guys. You cannot expect perfection for a quarter the cost of the real deal. But what I got for a quarter the cost of the real deal is a saw that was basically functional functional with a little bit of, of finessing first, and it did an amazing job. This thing is insanely powerful. Okay, again, I'm not a chainsaw guy. This is by far the biggest and most powerful chainsaw that I've ever run. It just absolutely hogs through material like you would not believe. It is stupid powerful, and it's, all things considered, surprisingly manageable. It's definitely a workout to run this thing. It's bigger than this thing, obviously. It does have more weight, but it's surprisingly manageable. You know, that's the nice thing about these clone saws. They were, you know, what they're a clone of was properly engineered by, in this example, steel, but there's also plenty of Husqvarna clone saws floating around. Okay, the engineering was paid for by steel like 50 years ago. They did a really good job on it. It's a great design. It's surprisingly manageable. I love this saw. I like it so much that I've decided I'm going to buy a shorter bar and chain for it. You can get like, I think a 25 inch bar. This is, I'm pretty sure a 36. So then I can use it for more general purpose type applications. 
But you know what? This thing just works. I love it. It works right out of the box. It's not perfect, like I said, but it's a quarter of the price and it got the job done. If anything goes wrong with it, I should be able to buy just cheap aftermarket steel parts and they should, should bolt right on and be ready to rock. That's kind of the appeal of the clone saws. You don't have to buy parts from, you know, Neotech or whatever. All sorts of different brands that sell stuff like that. I really like this thing. Another feature it has is the skid plate on the bottom. That was also kind of an operation to get lined up, but you know, still it went on there. <laughs> and apparently that's an option if you buy, you know, some other, some other saws, but this one it's included on. Now it's not perfect. Someone said that the, uh, the plastics are a little on the chintzy side. They are, but you know, it's just hard plastic. I don't think they're really that much different. It's got, relatively normal controls it's got a lot of metal parts it, it just works okay that's what i like about this thing it's not perfect but it's an insane value and it just plain and simple works from the research i've done like you can look up videos of people comparing the internal machining on these to some of the other clone sauce these are supposed to be a full quality level better than some of the other ones i've not tuned this thing okay i'm not really an expert on that but it runs so well I don't, I don't even really feel the need to mess with it, honestly. Really happy with the saw. Um, at some point, like I said, I hope to do a long-term review, but you know, I bought it for one task. It did the task beautifully. It's up and running. It's just, it's everything I hope to be, especially for the price. And uh, what else do I want to include here? This might not be the greatest choice for someone who's doing logging operations like every day. Okay, but I don't, I'm a farmer. If this thing gets used four or five times a year, that would probably be a lot. And if I paid four times as much for the real deal, it would probably never actually pencil out. But this is a lot of capability for the dollar. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. So far, I like this thing. Hopefully years from now, I can do an updated long-term review. But right out of the box, it works, albeit with, with a few hiccups, but still approximately $500, and it just fucking works. So <laughs> I love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more.